guys, Steph here. Now, although, well, because I'm very, very busy with sort of customer pens and my own pens as well, restoration, I wasn't actually accepting any pens in for restoration, but um, a lady sort of reached out to me and said, oh, I've got three pens. They were, well, they're, they're my mother's pens. I'd love to be able to be able to use them and write with them, etc. So I thought, right, just as a sort of a special, well, it's sort of, I like it when people want to use, when they find the parents' pens and they'd like to get them restored and to be able to use them. So I thought, yes, I said, send them in. So there we go. We've got three pens. We've got, we've got a Conway Stewart here, Conway Stewart 14. All three pens have just basically a little bit tired. If you look at the Conway Stewart here, you can see somebody's been using the pliers to try and actually open, you know, open the pen up. You can see the the nib there just needs it slightly, slightly misaligned. Okay, so but again, just a little bit tired. We've got a. A nice Swan SM160. Um, once again, yeah, just a little bit tired. There we go, we've got the nib there. So what we're going to do, as I said, she sort of, she didn't plead with me, but she said, Steph, will you please look at the pens and restore them for me? Because I'd love to be able to use them, because, as I said, they're actually my mother's pens, and... I'd be, you know, I'd be grateful if you could restore them, so hey-ho. And if you look here as well, this one as well, somewhere, I think, it's got marks on it where somebody's actually used the pliers to try and open or remove, remove the section. So, that's before, that's how they came in to me. So what we'll do, we'll basically just take them all apart, sort of, rub out, fill in the, the holes etc in the sections and we'll get these pens back to well how they were up and running so the lady can actually use them in her own time and uh, in, you know have a lot of pleasure with them so after some work here we have all the three pens now restored and ready to go they're looking absolutely gorgeous whoops a daisy so what we have as i said earlier we've got the conway stewart 14 now you can see all ready to go and if we show you this section there you can see we've removed we've filled we've polished out all the gouges in the section everything has been thoroughly cleaned as you can see the feed as always lovely and clean so we've got the Conway Stewart 14 the pen this one's dating from around about sort of the 1950s okay but as I say all ready to go all the pens have been fully disassembled, fully cleaned internally. We've given them a polish. We've put brand new sacks in the pens and they're all ready to go. We've got the Swan, Swan Minor fountain pen here. As you can see, looking a lot better than it did before. This one, some of you may or may not know, has got the Ebonite lever there the black lever that was slightly discolored we've polished it out okay to the very top there you can see what i've actually done i've actually enameled the swan logo to the very top there because originally that's how they came with a white white swan to the very top there um in in actual fact all three of the sections actually had gouges somebody had actually tried using some pliers to remove the sections in all three cases they've been filled polished out and again ready to go you can see the feed there as always 
everything as I said has been fully cleaned you can see there it's got a lovely swan number one nib which is the correct nib this particular pen I'm dating sort of the late 1930s a gorgeous gorgeous example it's got this sort of engine turn pattern to it as well and it's got the nickel swan clip the ball clip to the very top there as you can see once again in gorgeous condition and last but not least I actually didn't mention it earlier but this is actually the Kingswood British made fountain pen in this sort of brown and black marbling it's actually a lovely handsome pen you can see it's got the very recognisable of that particular period the ever sharp Kingswood clip to the top the sort of domes to the very top and take a look at this um, cap ring here so we've got this sort of Grecian yeah I would say a sort of Greco styled cap band there absolutely gorgeous as I said it's a King's Whatever Sharp lever fill there's a barrel imprint for you in gorgeous condition this one's a very handsome pen indeed I'm dating this pen sort of 1930s early 1940s and once again this one also had gouges to this section we've filled them in we've polished them out everything is looking beautiful it comes with the correct ever sharp 14 karat gold nib the feed everything as always lovely lovely and clean so the lady has got three absolutely gorgeous pens now I'm not going to fill the pens but yeah it'd be interesting to see I've not actually tested them so let's do it here on the video let's just do a dip test see how the pens actually write so let's try the the Conway Stewart first dip it in the ink to the side here and what we've got is let's just wipe it off we've got a a Conway Conway Stewart um, as we said this is the number number 14 made made in England and again circa sort of late I believe sort of around about 1938 okay so there we go run out of ink so it doesn't really matter let's just give it a wipe what we'll do we'll clean that before they go back into the post um, let's try the swamp pen once again give it a dip to the side so what we've got here is a a swan swan minor um, also known as the SM 100-60 also made made in England it's writing very nicely indeed just a tad of variation as well there you can see see it's got a little bit of variation in the line there but writing absolutely gorgeous lovely writer and last but not least let's have a look at the Kingswood fountain pen let's dip that and as we said what we've got is a a Kings Kingswood um, what they term as British British made writing nicely I would say in this case well they're all actually writing with sort of maybe yeah I would say they're all sort of a medium line
This one maybe be maybe on the fine side of medium. But all three pens, as you can see there, writing very nicely indeed. Lovely writers. And as I said, they've all got brand new sacks in the pens, so they're now ready, ready to enjoy. Okay, so there we have it. Three lovely pens that came in from a lady called Lara. So, I hope you like the pens, Lara. I hope your mother likes the pens as well. And I sincerely hope that you actually use them on a daily basis and you enjoy them because that's what they were made for to be used and enjoyed so I hope you like your pens Lara I hope you people also like the pens as well I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget leave a comment down below don't forget to subscribe as well down below there give the video a thumbs up don't be shy but for now I'm just going to say Slava Ukraini and from me and these gorgeous pens as I say hope you like them Lara I'm just going to say bye bye for now